Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamti. If you've recently purchased the Tascam DR40X sound recorder or you're looking for it to purchase it, there are a couple of things you need to know. First, it doesn't have an input for the small um, stereo headset um, or maybe the not headset but microphone jack. It doesn't have an input for that. And then also, it uses the input for it. It uses the big adapter and it uses mono instead of stereo. Now you're likely to have challenges for the very first time you get your hands on this particular sound recorder and if you are looking forward to uh, check out videos online you probably might see a couple of videos but the fixes it doesn't really give you a complete fix to what you're looking out for so this video is basically going to show you how to go about this sound recorder and be able to use it with still your normal uh, microphones without having necessarily having had to purchase any converter or any other thing all you might need is just the uh, uh, mono adapter that's a bigger one here and that's just about it now you need to understand two things that this is how the stereo um, adapter looks like it has two bars in here and the mono has just one bar so that, that's what makes you able to identify the difference between the stereo and then the mono now if you have the mono all you have to do is to slot it into any of the um, inputs either left or the right you put your microphone in it and then you go ahead to power up your um, sound recorder. Now, once you power up your sound recorder, there are a couple of things you need to do. So there are some few settings you have to change or configurations you have to make on the device to be able to get it used um, or get it working with your normal microphone. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to go about that. So to get started to have this um, sound recorder working with my microphones, there are a couple of things I first of all needed to get ready. So just like I was saying earlier, the difference between the mono um, adapter, this is the mono, as well as the stereo. So you're able to get it working. So this is the mono, just has a single bar, and then the stereo has double bars. Now this doesn't work with the sound recorder. So once I have it, let me just power this off. And so once I have my recorder, put the batteries and everything inside, I um, place the that is the mono adapter into any of the inputs um, here, either the left or the right. So once I have that done, I have my um, microphone. So I'm actually having a wireless microphone. So I need to collect the connect the line in into my um, jack in here. Once I have that done, I go ahead to power up um, the device. Now once I have it powered up and I hit on the record button here, realize the input is actually capturing sound from this um, internal microphone. So I want to be able to change that too. All you have to do is to go to the record mode and then the record mode you have source. So switch to the right hand side and then um, change this to external um, in, um, that is external in left and right. And once you have that selected, let's come back here, hit on the record button. And then this is my microphone. So as you can see, when I touch on this, it's just being moved in one of the channels. That's the bus over here. Now to be able to have this um, play or have the stereo um, aspect working, that's having both left and um, right, that is tracks being you know, recorded to. All you have to do is to, let me just stop this, come back to record mode. You realize that the record mode is in stereo. Now that's fine, but still it's not working. All you have to do is to come back to the bottom where you have the MS um, decode. Move to the right hand side and then turn this on and you should be good to go so once i turn on the record in case i want to record you realize that both tracks are being um, moved it's actually capturing my sound i haven't recorded or so once i hit on record you realize that this is actually recording so that's just about how to go about um, going about this device in case you have one or you're looking for it to get one so as you can see, that was just simple, but it actually took me a longer time when I first got my hands on this particular device and I actually got very frustrated since I wasn't able to find the solution to getting it working with my normal microphone. So in case you find this video very useful, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. My name is Sashmo Lamte. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.